right back to this. I think it's a coin the window, but I don't know, I guess. But all right, I'm actually recording insurgents. I'll probably end up recording it twice today, but so taking an hour day off of DLC mods and whatnot, but that's because this game is really interesting and really interesting points, so kind of wanna progress through it, like I wanna play it or whatnot, but yeah, that's just kind of the explanation. Um, for the previous couple parts, actually, we spent the literally the entirety of the part, like a good two and a half hours fighting Anastasia and losing. Um, I said at the end of the previous part that I beat off camera, and that's actually what I did. So, however, I'm still going to provide some insight into what I actually did. Um, I debated not uploading the previous parts, but I did anyway, just because I had them, so I might as well just don't really gain anything by not uploading them since I already beat her or whatnot, so it's not like that really does anything. Yeah, so obviously this is where we fought. She was here, and I was here, and as you can see, given I don't have a Pokemon by me, the lead member of my party has fainted, but basically I need to explain my strategy for um, beating her. Obviously, I won with three remaining, or well, like two in a sliver, but obviously you can also see Sandman in the front, so it involved him. Um, basically, here was my strategy. I'm going to explain it now. So, I don't remember where, but I think it was in, I don't remember where I got it, but at some point in the game, I got an X speed three and an X power three or X attack three. I used the X attack three during my battle with Harmony. However, I used my X speed three in this battle with Anastasia. As you can see, it's no longer my party. In fact, I didn't even need to use any hyper potions or vibes. But basically, here was my plan to beat Harmony, right? I lead off with Sandman. First thing I do is use the X speed three. That allows Sandman to outspeed every single one of her Pokemon. Given I actually put um put Carbos on Sandman, if you can see his speed's at 100 or whatnot, so that's like the max you could get with Carbos. So between that and the XP3, that allowed Sandman to outspeed every single one of her Pokemon. If you remember her first Pokemon, Klefki, one of the moves it knows is Swagger, and that's the first move it uses. So the Klefki used Swagger on, or the, well, I think it was like for, well, yeah, Every, I think every single time it used Swagger first against Sandman. Because obviously when I led with Demix, it didn't. But given I, land, I led with Sandman, the first move it used was Swagger. And what that does is that puts, is that puts Sandman at plus two attack. Granted, Sandman's confused, but it's at plus two attack. So within a turn, Sandman was at plus two attack and plus three speed. Outspeeding every single one of her Pokemon and having basically double the attack. So basically from that point on, I just needed to get lucky and not hit myself with confusion. And I could basically sweep our team with Sandman. And it took like a couple of few runs to where I wouldn't hit myself in confusion. But yeah, so Sandman had just one-shotted, I think it was, it one-shotted Klefki, um, Electivire, well no, not Electivire, one-shotted Klefki, one-shotted Metagross, one-shotted Electivire. And I think it got killed by that point. Um, I don't remember I, which one. I think she, I don't remember. But yeah, basically I swept like three or four of her Pokemon with Sandman and then used Jackbox, Cleaver, and Demon to deal with the rest. Most notably her, um, what is it, her Aegislash, I think is what I had to use um, these three to deal with. Or her Aegislash and uh, Magnezone. So I think, yeah, I think Sandman one-shot every single one of her Pokemon besides the Aegis Slash and Magnezone, because we haven't even seen the Magnezone until the last battle, in the last part with her. But yeah, that's one of the ones she sends out last, so you swept every single Pokemon but those two, and then I used the combination of Jackbox, Cleaver, and Demon to beat Magnezone and the Aegis Slash, so that's the best way I can explain it. I didn't record it. It kind of sucks, but I mean, I was just, I literally did about 10, I think it was close to 10 runs before I got one where Sandman didn't like hit itself in confusion in once. So that wasn't something I was willing to like completely soft yourself for, but 
that's kind of unfortunate because those two items are extremely rare items. You actually can't buy them. So because I had to use them for these past two gyms, there's no real sort of, there's no way I can use them for future gyms or any future battles. However, hopefully at some point we can unlock the ability to buy max revives because that would make it so much easier than just having uh, to use revives in a hyper potion. But we ultimately don't know. So yeah, basically we're continuing the game on from this point. Presumably, we know the perfection cults at our, um, or the cult of perfection is at our workshop or whatnot. And actually, after the battle, she said, All right, I'm going to head to my workshop, like if you need me or whatnot. Or she's like, I'm working on a secret project or something. I don't know, which is likely what perfect, the cult of perfection was after or interested in. But yeah, first thing I need to do is go back and heal. Unfortunately, there's no easy way to get out of this. I started recording immediately after, well, Obviously not, but I mean, I, I didn't want to like walk out of it and then I guess derive, uh, I guess just, I don't know, sort of the explanation for how I beat her. Because at, at the very least, I feel that's what I owe or whatnot. But that's, this isn't a good sign for the last three gyms of the region. I'm being, being honest here. I don't think this is a good sign for the last three gyms of the region, given I needed to use an X attack and X speed in order to defeat the fourth and fifth gym. Nicely done. Can't believe you be asked Asia really work. I mean, I remember how much how much I was like talking about like, oh, there's she doesn't even stand a chance against us. We'd be like four cult boss cult boss battles or whatnot, and it took me like over two hours in order to beat her. I think I I think I probably fought her around a dozen times at least in only one on obviously the last one, which is off camera unfortunately, but yeah, so let's exit the gym. I mean I need to heal my Pokemon. Uh, okay, yeah, that's Tane. He's got the bowl haircut. That's how I, that's how I always remember him. He's got the bowl haircut or whatnot. Because he looks a lot like the issue is um he looked a lot he looks a lot like an abyssal cult with that hair or whatnot. But I mean, obviously it's slightly different because he has white as opposed to blue clothing, and his is more of a bowl haircut. And yeah, so that's a that's how I always remember him or whatnot. What a weird place to put a workshop. Okay, because, yeah, there was initially a guard there, and you would speak to me, and you'd say, oh, this is Anastasia's workshop, keep out or whatnot. It's, like, r just, like, a cave in built inside of a mountain. Like, hey, Tane's right on that. I mean, that's kind of, that really is a weird place to put a workshop. I mean, it makes sense, because it's probably connected to the gym, but just, like, in the side of a cave, like, he, he's, like, he's, like, what, why is there a workshop? And like, he's, like, is, is this, he was probably, oh, Jesus. <clears throat> He's probably thinking to himself, like, is this really, like, a workshop? Is this, like, a fake? Like, presumably Rukra's there as well, because Rukra and Tane, they go everywhere together. They're, like, literally the only two members of the per cult of perfection. There's, like, no other members in that cult. So, like, in we – have there – has there been – I don't think there's been a point in this – or at least the only point in this game where we've seen them separated was the very beginning when Rukra was giving Professor Sylvan the deltas or whatnot. There's been no other point in this game where we've seen them separated. They've always been together or whatnot. But um, yeah, so let's swap around the order a bit. And yeah, I'm super like over level now. Like I'm, I was a level in two levels for Cleaver above the uh, gym, but she still like rocked my shit or whatnot. I mean, honestly, I'm still kind of disappointed about the nature change for Demon. I'm gonna keep doing the Pokemon until I get another nature change that's actually decent. Like, raid special attack, maybe? I don't know. That was that was kind of stupid. I mean, like, I don't know, but yeah. I wonder if the guys over here moved. Because there were people on the left preventing us from path. Okay, so those guys are still there. Because these are the people who were talking about the uh, call to perfection or whatnot. Like, yeah, these people are, like, block. They're literally blocking off, like, half of town. <laughs> like, so... Can't do anything about it um, until we confront the cult of perfection. But like, I shouldn't even call them the cult of perfection anymore. I should literally just call them Tane and Rukra because they're literally the only two members. Like, it's actually kind of funny though because Tane's extremely strong. Like, he had a Kyogre and a Meg, or not Kyogre, Curum, which is, I'm not sure whether Curum is more powerful than Kyogre, but it's definitely a battle legendary or whatnot. So there's the uh, cave. So yeah, we're gonna walk in there. They're gonna. We don't even know what it looks like because we haven't been there before. Guards have always blocked it off until now, but 
yeah, basically he is a Kiram, which is a battle legendary. And then he also has a he has a mega evolution. So that's pretty strong. Um, I'm actually looking at his team now. Uh, yeah, let's see what his lead is. Okay, so it's a Grumpy. So who do I want to lead off? That's what, pure psychic? Is there like is the only Pokemon I have to deal with that demon? Yeah, I think the only Pokemon I have that can deal with the pure psychic type is demon. So I guess, yeah, let's use him. Uh, yeah, so this, let's see how this battle goes. Um, in case you didn't know, there is a battle. Was Has there been an interaction with, okay, yeah. Our interaction with Tane in the previous, uh, in the hostile Sonata Hills, there wasn't a battle. But basically, like, two out of, we're going to have an interaction, and, like, that puts us at a ratio of two out of three. And also, because I didn't use any revives or hyper potions, I'm good. I don't need to buy anymore. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, this is actually pretty advanced. It's a lot more advanced than I was expecting. I thought it was going to be like literally like a cave. What are these? Are we going to get like, okay, so there's Tane. All right, Tane, your commission is done. Does Anastasia not know who Tane is? I mean, th does she not know who Tane is? I'm that may be the wrong assumption. Cause looking at the machine behind her, that was a machine that the Abyssal Cult was using. Is Anastasia in it with the cultists? I mean, that's the question. Like, does she not know who Tane is? Like, cause if not, then I mean, uh, either she's blissfully ignorant or she's just like in it with the cultists. It would make sense why the guard wanted to keep everyone out if she was, like, commissioning stuff for cultists. I'm not going to lie. This isn't what I was expecting. I was expecting there to be some sort of confrontation. But now it's either, okay, she's blissfully ignorant of Tane being a cultist. Like, how does she even know Tane? Now, there's, is, that, is that really it? Because I'm not sure how she would possibly know him outside of being a cultist. Like, this... Presumably just being a member of a cult, like much less a cult admin, you're not just like roaming around the region having like a name for yourself, well, except for maybe Yarn. But I mean, people don't really know you besides being a cultist. So I don't know how uh, Anastasia could possibly know Tane outside of being a cultist, like being just purely blissfully ignorant of the fact that he's an admin of the perfection cult. So I don't know. Like, I think she's in it with the cultists. The gym leaders in this game have been extremely scummy. Not gonna lie. Like, the gym leaders in this game are straight up, like, not good people. Like, Orion, at least, Orion's the only good. The o Orion's the only gym leader who I can say is, like, good-hearted or, like, good this game. Because, like, obviously, you know, it's kind of weird the fact that he was talking to a rock, but that rock turned out to be Reshram, so kind of showed everyone else. Uh, Xavier, he's a scumbag. I mean, basically, he ran Vipic City into the dump, and he doesn't even live there. He lives in freaking uh, Helio City. He's also a stoner, so that's like negative reputation. And then East was literally working for <laughs> Yaren, who is the leader of the Sky Cult. So East is basically a cultist, or at least, you know, a front for the cult, Sky Cult, or whatnot. Obviously, he's also dead, so he doesn't really matter. Harmony, oh my god, don't even get me started on her. Harmony and Nora really telling us to not look for Damien, go to Anastasia. And look what happened, Damien got turned into a disgusting human deoxys hybrid as a result of them, you know, like I said, we basically cut ties with them. We're not on good terms with them at all. We're soloing the whole region by ourselves, we don't care. And then freaking Anastasia commissioning stuff for cultists, even if she's blissfully ignorant, you know, that's still not like an excuse. Like, you should really know, I don't know how you could possibly know Tane outside of being a cultist, but I mean, oh, well, because especially being a cult admin, it's not like you're going around, like, having a reputation outside of being a cult admin, but, yeah, I mean, let's, let's get this over with. I'm wiping my hands of it. Wait, what? Oh, all right, so Anastasia, so she does know he's a cultist, but she's still commissioning stuff for him. That makes her an accomplice. Wiping my hands away. I don't want to be involved with this creepy cult stuff anymore. So she was a member of like she literally was a cultist. Literally, the gym leaders in this game are like the worst people, actually. Everyone but Orion. Every single gym leader we've seen but Orion are like the is like the worst people. They're like all they're all the worst people. Every single one but Orion. So not only is she commissioning stuff for a known cultist, but she literally was a cultist. Like she's not a good person. 
Like, I mean, in any more, was she involved with the perfection call or another call? Presumably the perfection call, because given we know, um, given we know from the story in the Utira library about the sort of secret um, Pokemon in the old abandoned perfection laboratory, having brought it down, we knew that the perfection call was once a prominent call once a very prevalent cult in the region, and ultimately it would dwindle down to basically two members. So it's very likely that ultimately um, Anastasia was a member of the Perfection Cult, if any cult. And that would also make sense why she knows Tane or whatnot, because, you know, he's literally the last, presumed last remaining member of the cult, besides Rukra, obviously, but he's the founder, so. Like, one, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. One million Poké dollars, hold up. That's, that's a lot of money jesus christ that's that's a hundred races on sonata tracks with the max sponsorship like i would need to race a hundred times on sonata tracks to earn that amount of money where is tane getting a where did tane get a million poke dollars presume like him and rukra are just like swimming in cash i mean there's no other like way around it i guess they have that much poke dollars that was RN. Now show me the suit I paid for. Is it in the machine? Suit. Like, does it, is he gain like, did he pay that much for a tailored suit? I mean, is he, he, he's in dire need of a fashion upgrade, but I mean, like, I'm a million, it's, it's gotta be something else, right? I mean, it can't be like clothes related. Very well. Where are we looking at? Okay, so it is in the machine. The armor has been made to your exact specifications. That's interesting, because one thing that, um, this actually reminds me, because um, there are two, like, sort of special Pokemon in this game, okay? You have Delta Pokemon and Armored Pokemon. Obviously, one's a lot more prevalent, Delta Pokemon, because we've seen those since the beginning. In fact, they're one of the first things mentioned in the game. I kind of just forgot about Armored Pokemon, not gonna lie, because they just straight up never brought it up, up until presumably this point i mean because yeah delta pokemon obviously you know they've existed since the beginning of the game they've been a very prevalent part of the game but armored pokemon we literally haven't even heard of them yet but like that was one of the features of the game armored pokemon so suit of armor tailored to his pokemon then damn they tane's really like buffing up his team here he's got curum He's got a Mega Evolution, and now he has a set of armor for a Pokemon. I didn't even see what it looked like. It'll increase the offensive stats of a Pokemon that wears it. Any, I, I assume it's not any Pokemon. It looks like very form-fitting for a Pokemon or whatnot. A little bit of research. The only Pokemon that fits your measurements as well. Zacharone? Yeah. Anas that should be a red flag, Anastasia. I mean, that, that should be a red flag. Like... Did, did she not look at the measurements and she's like, this is literally for Zekrom? Did, did she like completely ignore that? She's like, uh, yeah, I don't know why you spent a million polka dollars on an armor and an armor piece for Zekrom. Tane's like, are, are you retarded? It's because I have this. He, does he, does he have a Zekrom? <laughs> I mean, he's going after all the Unova legendaries. He's got Kiram. Apparently he has Zekrom, and he was trying to go after Reshiram early in the game. I mean, yeah, like, literally, he's been, he's going after all the Unival legendaries. Is he going to go after, like, the a trio of, like, what is it, Terrakian, Cobalion, and Verizian? It's, it's, it's not Verizian, right? No, that's Verizon. No, it's not Verizian. Is, is he going to go after that trio next? He's going after, like, all the Unova legendaries. He's like, Harmony told me you had Kiron back in Sun Touch Day Gym. Because, yeah, Harmony was there when Tane, like, literally wrote in on Kiron. Like, yeah, because Harmony was at uh, the Sun Touch Day Gym when he wrote in on Kiron and went after um, Orion's restaurant. Because, yeah, Harmony was there. And then, obviously, you know, presumably she's, like, buddy-buddy with Anastasia. She's willing to have us completely ignore our friend Damien, who got kidnapped by Mald, and have us and send us to Anastasia. Well, in the meantime, Damien gets transformed into a disgusting human deoxys hybrid. So, yeah, I mean, pres presumably she's buddy-buddy with Anastasia, so it makes sense she'd relay that information. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know why, like, that didn't raise any red flags for Anastasia. She's like, all right, this guy already has Curum. He's commissioned in a set of armor for Zekrom. 
Like, she's not like, uh, this is a cult admin with two, presumably two legendaries and a mega evolution. No. Tane is now presumably a cult admin with two legendaries, one of them being armored, and a mega evolution. That that put that makes him stronger than probably even I think that especially, yeah, Zekrom's a pretty good counter to Kyogre. I think that puts him above Audrey and Yarn. I think Tane I think Tane's stronger than both of them now. I mean that only goes to show how strong or powerful Rukura is, because we haven't seen Rukura's team, but presumably stronger than Tane. Damn, the Perfection Cult's not lacking at all. They've, the Perfection Cult's like, Tane and Rukura are probably the two strongest trainers in the whole region as of now. Do you honestly expect me to believe you have Zekrom too? He's like, you're an idiot. Why would I commission a one million pokey dollar piece for Zekrom without having Zekrom? Tane's like, Yes, I have. I can literally show you Zekrom right now. Like, I really don't care if you believe it. The truth is the truth. Yeah, he's literally like, do you really think I don't, like, why would I not have Zekrom? He's like, th think about it. Think about it. Why would I commission a million dollar pokey, a million pokey dollar set piece of armor for a Pokemon I don't have? Like, I don't know, like, why was that not setting off red flags to Anastasia? He's like, uh, he can't possibly have Zekrom. He won't commission a piece of armor for Zekrom. Like, he can't possibly have Zekrom, even though, or, yeah, why well, is that? Even though he's commissioning a piece of armor. For, that's a million pulpy dollars, nonetheless. He's, Tane's like, you're an idiot. <laughs> like, great work. The armor looks sturdy. And incredible. Yeah, look at Zekrom's right there in the armor. Oh, my God. Freaking Anastasia, you idiot. Why would you think he wouldn't... If if he commissions a piece of armor for Zekrom, why would you think he doesn't have it? I mean, he, you know he has a cure on If he didn't have Zekrom, you know, why wouldn't he commission it for Curum? I mean, Anastasia is such an idiot. All the gym leaders, the gym leaders in this game are literally the worst people. She's literally just buffing Tane, who's a cult M. Like, I don't know, she's literally an accomplice at this point to whatever he does with Zekrom. She's, God, the gym leaders in this game are such idiots. They're, they're literally, like, accomplices. This is why the cultists have been grown out of hand, because the gym leaders are idiots. They don't do anything. Obviously, Yaren himself is literally a cult leader. Champion Elite 4, nowhere to be seen, nowhere to be heard of. Like, we haven't even, we've only got it mentioned once from someone in Sonata uh, city saying that oh they're like mother like aunt was like a freaking elite four member why not Anastasia you're such a freaking idiot I've heard stories about Zekrom I never thought I'd see it myself this man has his cure man Zekrom he's going after the Unival legendaries where does Tane keep getting these how did he get Zekrom like presumably you know it took a while to make this piece of armor so he must have had Zekrom for a while now where does he keep getting these legendaries like freaking Tane he's going after all Unival legendaries Tane is more legendary than any other. Well, I guess Audrey had two technically with Lugia and Kyogre, but she never used them both in battle. So, Tane right now, oh my god, Tane. Freaking, I'm only imagining what Rukra could possibly have if Tane is two legendaries, one of them being armored and a mega evolution. How is it that you've caught two legendary Pokemon? That's what I'm asking. I'm like, how does Tane keep getting these legendaries? By the end of the game, he's just going to have a team of like six legendaries, <laughs> and we're going to have to like fight him. Most people never even see one in their lifetimes. He's like, hey, listen, I've been around for a long time. Like, he, he's like, I, I caught it in a Pokeball. Is, is that a sufficient explanation? Master Balls. Lots and lots of Master Balls. What, what does he keep? Well, I guess, is that, that's his, that's actually legitimate, his legitimate explanation. Oh, my God. Master Balls. Lots and lots of Master Balls. You only need one, though. Presumably, Tane's, like, filthy rich if he's, like, Tane, Tane and Ruka have got to be swimming in money here. I mean, if Tane can commission a million dollar, po million polka dollar set of armor, and it's just, like, buying Master Ball, like, like, casually. Like, Tane, Tane got to be swimming in money here. <laughs> that's, that's actually his explanation. By the end of the game, we're gonna, he's going to have six legendaries on his team, and we're going to have to fight him. I don't try to coax or convince them to join. He's literally, like, Master Ball, throw legendary caught like the success have you seen how the other cults operate he's like he's freaking roasting persephone here because persephone like sacrificed like half of her cult to summon dark rye and like she still hasn't caught it yet 
And he's like, yeah, I just used Master Balls. I mean, because Audrey, she was actually, Audrey and Yaren were at least able to control their, well, Yaren's able to control Rayquaza pretty effectively without the crystal. Like, Rayquaza was literally walking behind him when he was, like, looking for the crystal or whatnot. That shows they're on pretty good terms. Audrey, on the other hand, you know, I guess she's on good terms with Lugia, but Kyogre freaking clapped her. So, I mean, she needed the crystal to control that. But, like, Tane, he literally was just like, yeah, I just throw a Master Ball in it, and, like, it's, it's mine now. <laughs> like, they just ask them to join. It's no wonder they never succeed. He's like... I don't know why they haven't thought of just using a ton of Master Balls. Tane's like the freaking practical champ here. He's like, I, I don't know why the R cults haven't thought of just using Master Balls before. Common sense, come on. Strong Pokeball is much more effective than messing around. He's like, yeah, he's like, I don't know why they just don't invest in Master Balls. Like, I've got two legends. He's, is he going to get Reshiram too? Please don't tell me he's going to take Orion's Reshiram. We're going to have to fight like all three Unova legendaries. Oh my god. Like, He's like, anyways, it seems a bit fine. Do you have the other armor we've commissioned? Uh, other armor? Bro, I mean, come on, freaking Anis. She's literally an accomplice to anything he does at this point. She's creating Pokemon armor for legendaries for occult admin. I mean, what worse could you possibly do, I mean, without directly being a cultist yourself, I mean? Gym leaders are literally the worst people in these games. Anastasia is such a freaking idiot. I uh, yes. Anastasia, hey, who's speaking right now? I don't care who's speaking. What's the other set of armor? Is it for Curum? It's presumably for Curum, right? Who's that? Orion? Oh, Rain, what earth are you two doing here? Bro, shut up, Anastasia. We call you red-handed. Like, shut up. Just, like, stop. Freaking resign is it. The gym leaders in this region are the worst. Oh, yeah, Orion's here. Is is it? Uh, does Orion have his rush around with him? Because uh, Tane may be like, you know, I could use a Master Ball in that. It's still not caught yet. <laughs> Tane's, Tane's got freaking Master Balls up the wazoo. He's like swimming in money here. Like, Orion, hopefully you left rush around at the gym. I mean, how'd you get in? Uh, we walked in. I just walked through the door. It wasn't guard or anything. Yet he's like, is this a trick question? I literally just walked in. Like, oh, Anastasia, you freaking idiot. Why are you here, though? Shouldn't you be managing him? Shut up, Anastasia. Like, you're, you're not going to put this on us. You're literally... I'm not sure how much more you can, like, do other than directly being a cultist. She's literally commissioning armor for occult admins legendaries. I don't know how much more you could do than that without being directly involved. I came because my friend told me to. His friend Reshiram. Because, yeah. Because we know Reshiram and Zekrom, obviously, is truth and ideals or whatnot. They're the two... Or, well, the main two. Because, obviously, you know, it's Zekrom, Reshiram, Kyurem. But Kyurem's more so, like, the third Pokemon. Like, the legend there. It, it's more so, like, it, it's definitely the least related to the two. It's mainly about the duality between Zekrom and Reshiram. So, obviously, it makes sense why, you know, Reshiram would tell Orion, like, oh, shoot, this guy, Tane, who showed up earlier. And especially considering he has Kyurem as well. Freaking having both Zekrom and Kyurem, it makes sense why Reshiram would tell Orion, like, uh, like, dog, we gotta do something, I mean, like, the, these, like, the other two legendaries that I'm related to are in the hands of a cult enemy who's freaking putting armor on them. Your friend, you mean Reshiram, right? Yeah. Tane's like, Reshiram? It's like, I'm gonna, like, <laughs> Tane's like, has like a twitch. He's like a freaking addict. Like, he hears like a legendary and his like head just perks up. He's like, He's got, like, his hand in his, like, pocket ready to, like, throw a Master Ball. He's like, Tane's like a freaking, oh, my God. This is, this is so stupid. Like, you again, stay away from me and my pal. I'll know what you want, but you'll never put your hands on them. Them? You freaking, them? Like, it's only Reshiram he wants. He doesn't care about the rest of your Pokemon. He's just, like, he's, like, Reshiram? He's, he's like, head just purse up. His, like, hands start twitching. I mean, he's, he's got two of the three, <laughs> like, you know, in Legendaries. He's going to want the third. He's like, it really is adorable how brave kids are. He's like, not a chance to get in our legendary. He's like, I appreciate you coming through. This takes me a trouble finding Reshiram myself. He's like, where's, wh what, I'm curious about what the other armor Anastasia commissioned was. Like, presumably it's for Curum, right? Is he going to get all three Unovan Pokemon freaking armor? Like, God, that's so stupid. I freaking hate Anastasia. Like, I hate all the gym leaders besides Orion. Like, please don't tell me Orion gets clapped here. I mean, he's the only gym leader I actually like. He's, like, the only good gym leader here. Like, I don't even want Audrey to, like, 
be dead. Like, I really hope she comes back. I hope she's alive. He's like, behold, child, the titan of the universe region. He's like, are you not looking at my freaking armored Zekrom right now? Like, that beats a restaurant. I'm just straight up. Zekrom, the dragon of ideals. And then, obviously, you know, restaurant's truth. He's like, now bound in protective armor. He's stronger and tougher than ever before. He's like, I can literally beat you. Like, I have your legendary's opposite, but buffed and stronger through armor. Anastasia's such a freaking idiot. God, I hate the gym. The gym leaders of this region are the literal worst. It's a perfect fusion, both Pokemon and machine. He's like, well, that, that makes sense along with the theme of the uh, perfection call or whatnot. I mean, yeah, it's like the perfection call. They're like, oh, yeah, we need this... Uh, we're creating the perfect being or perfect life form. And an armored, an armored legendary Pokemon is a pretty good contender, not going to lie. Like, I'm not sure how much, like, armored legendary Pokemon probably on par with mega legendary Pokemon, like Primal Kyogre, Prime. Yeah, I'm willing to put armored Zekrom on the same pedestal as Primal Kyogre, Primal Groudon, and obviously Mega Rayquaza. Zekrom joined you? He's like, uh, yeah, are you surprised? He's like, Orion's like surprised that somehow a cult, well, yes, a cult admin has a legendary. He's like surprised that someone else, like a cultist has a legendary. He's like, is, that's, that's not too outlandish. Every single cult leader we've seen so far has a legendary. Like, or well, except Persephone, because Persephone sucks. She's like not even relevant anymore. She still hasn't tried to get us. Like, she still hasn't tried to capture us. I mean, we know as soon as Yaren comes back, if Persephone doesn't have us, he's just going to straight up clap Persephone. I mean, so, that's, why would it choose to join forces with something like you? You Does he not understand, like, Zekrom, the dragon of ideals, and Reshram, the dragon of truth? They're two opposites, bipolar. It makes complete sense why one would join a gym leader and the other a cult admin. I mean, that's... It, it, that's the, it's it's the most logical, literally. I mean, in Pokemon Black and White, you it's literally joins the protagonist and, or at least up until then, the main antagonist. So I mean, like, I don't I don't know why Orion's too surprised here. Like, I really don't. It didn't. I caught it. It's very easy to get a Pokemon to obey you once you've tamed it. Yeah, he's like, I I just threw a Master Ball at it. I mean, it really wasn't that hard. He's like, it was harder to find it than to capture it. Like, you're a monster. He's like, Tane's literally here just chilling, trying to collect his commission, and then freaking Orion, like, walks in, like, he's like, Reshiram told me to stop you. And then freaking Tane's like, I literally commissioned two piece, two sets of armor for my two Unovin legendaries. You don't stand a chance, like, kid. And why don't you try and stop me? He's like, how about it? A double or nothing battle between the two of us. He's like, all right, how about we battle? If, if you, I win, you give me Reshiram. Uh, you win, you still give me Reshiram. I mean, a duel between dragons, winner takes all. Like, I mean, he, he's literally like, what are you going to do to stop me? You're literally looking at an armored legendary right here. Excluding the fact he has another, <laughs> as Kurum, I really don't know what Orion's plan here is. Like, unless, of course, you don't care about what happens to Zekrom. He's, he's literally, I don't, I, I don't get what Orion's plan here is. Like, what's he going to do to stop Tane here? I mean, being 100% honest. I do care, but you have a suit of armor. That, that isn't fair at all. Yeah, he's literally like, I, I can't, even Orion's like, okay, I can't beat this guy. I mean, he's like, like he's got literally armored legendary. Like, I, I'm willing to put armored Zekrom on the same level as like freaking Primal Groudon Kyogre and like Mega Rayquaza. Like, I guess not then. What disappointment? I'll be on my way. Yeah, he's like, that's what I thought. And then he just like shows off his like legendaries. or Like he's like, like flashes like Kyogre's Pokeball. He's like, all right, I'm going to head out. Did he completely, like, ignore his other supposed set of commissioned armor, which is presumably for Kirum, right? No, I'll do it. Uh, Orion's like, oh. Now Tane's like, oh. He's a chance to get Reshiram. He's like, he's like, arms, like, twitching. He's, like, shaking. Reshiram, come out. I don't know what on earth your problem is, but I'll be gosh darn if you're going to walk over me, too. So there's Red Dame. We got all the legendaries. All freaking... We have the three Unovin legendaries in this one room at this moment. <laughs> I mean, damn, this is like freaking, this is something we wouldn't have thought would even like happen in freaking black and white or black two, white two. But I mean, obviously this game takes 30 place, 30 years after the events of Alpha Sapphire. So presumably close to 
around the same time, like around 30 years after the events of Black 2, White 2, or Black and White, Black 2, White 2 as well. So, I mean, it makes sense how by that point, these legendaries, which have been seen as like deities or gods, are just like casually used by like trainers. So, like freaking cult admins too, like gym leaders and cult admins, I mean, as opposed to like what would normally be reserved for either the protagonist or the main antagonist. Hmm. They're now being used by just gym leaders and like cult admins, like casually. And freaking Tane having two of them one of them being armored and presumably having a set of armor for the other as well. Did you really just say that? Oh my God. We got, all right. We got to get out of here. We got to leave. This, this is beyond us now. Like very well, Zekrom crush this worm. Yeah. He's, uh, Orion, you're a freaking idiot here. This is a losing battle. Look at Zekrom. It's literally got armor on. I mean, this, this is a losing battle. <laughs> Orion pressure him attack. This is literally a losing. Look at it. Oh my God. Freaking Reshiram just straight up dies here. Like, Reshiram can't beat Zekro. We're, we're not doing any damage at all. Tane's like, you're an idiot. It has armor on. You, did, did you, you literally looked at it and said, I can't beat it. It's got armor. And now that you're fighting it, you're not doing any damage, and you're, like, surprised. Zekro, this is a game point. He's like, uh, yeah, this, this is a waste of my time. Like, this 10 seconds of battling, like, nah, too much of my time. Like, just kill it. Okay, Reshiram just... <laughs> Oh my god, it just went straight into Pokeball. Tane, Tane like freaking dives after it, like dies after the Pokeball. He's like, me and our legendary on my team. He's like, to the victor goes this far. He's like, he, oh my god, he literally walks. Freaking Orion, you're such an idiot. Like, this, now Tane is freaking three legendaries. Oh, he's got the Unova trio. And to think that freaking Rukra's probably stronger than him, given he's the cult leader. Yeah, Tane literally just picks up Reshiram. It looks like an armored legendary Pokemon is able to take out an armorless one. Excellent deduction, Tane. He's like two, 200 IQ deduction there, Tane. It's like freaking master analysis. He, he literally just, he has three legendaries now. He's got the Unova trio. Orion, you're such an idiot. Like that's pretty indicative of the power of these armors, if you ask me. Like thanks, Anastasia. Thanks, Anastasia, for commissioning an armor that allowed me to literally acquire one more legendary. Like, Oh my god. Never before, like, playing black and white and black to white too, never before did we think we would ever see a moment where a single trainer would have the entire Unovin trio, and then this freaking random cult admin 30 years in the future just has all three, and he's, like, commissioning an armor for them, like, casually. Like, this is so insane. Oh, Ryan, you're such an idiot. Want to test that theory? Whoa, when do, whoa, 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 hold on. Why, why are you dragging us into this? I mean, since, since when has this since when has this involved us? Where's Rukra? Rukra said he was going to freaking go after Anastasia, but apparently it's only Tane, like, picking up his order. Like, like Rukra's nowhere to be seen. He's just, like, dipped. As soon as he created Maud, he's like, all right, I'm going to head out. And he's, like, presumably in, like, a safe place. He's, like, in a freaking, what would you call it? Like, an underground bunker, like, doomsday bunker. Wait, why, wait, hold on. So, why is Tane dragging us into this? We've literally just been chilling the whole time. Now Tain is literally the Unova trio. Like, I mean, one of them being armored, and presumably him having armor for Zekrom as well, because he like, all right, Anastasia, in my other set of armor, which is presumably for Kiram, Tain literally just within the span of about 15 seconds got Reshiram. I mean, freaking all right, you're such an idiot. Do you think that you can beat the perfect combination of science and myth? If I'm going to have to freaking fight an armored legendary, another legendary, possibly another legendary, and a mega, like, Freaking Tane, oh my god, bring it on. I want payback for what happened in Helios City. What? You know, but here's the thing, though. That doesn't make sense, because that was about Tane was designed to lose in order to gain data on a mega evolution or whatnot. But here, like, that isn't, like, some personal vendetta, right? Like, he was designed to lose that battle, so we could ultimately stop the auger, who is presumably, who, well, at least, yeah, we know he's the leader of the Sky Cult, but it was actually good that Tane lost, because if Tane beat us, then we wouldn't have stopped him, and Rukra wouldn't have gotten a part of the Crystal Shard. So, I mean, I don't know what Tane is like, a per why Tane is like a personal vendetta against us. Like, much less after he literally just, that was probably like such in a like, that was probably such a satisfying moment for Tane. Within the span of about 30 seconds, putting a set of armor on his Zekrom, and then getting Reshiram. Like, I don't know why he still holds a personal vendetta against us. Oh, my God.
And then it's freaking Tane's theme. Oh my god. Freaking Tane. This where's Rukra? Like, so because Rukra threatened to, you know, like he said, like, oh, I'm gonna deal with Anastasia or whatnot. He's nowhere to be sound. Like, he's nowhere to be seen. All it is is Tane literally just picking up his order. Like, God, I freaking hate Harmony and all the gym leaders in Nora. Like, literally, gym leaders are the worst people in the region. Nora's, like, I, I hate them all. I mean, really, like, the worst people. Also, watch this. This is going to be fine. Level 57. Look at how overleveled we are. But, I mean, we're obviously going to need it. Looking at his team, he's got legendaries and armored one at that. So, um, it has no... It has no priority move, so I'm just going to uh, Mega Evolve, Shadow Ball it. So, yeah, I mean, freaking, uh, we're going to need this overleveledness against his team. Like, this is on hard difficulty. On easy difficulty, he's got freaking level 56s. Like, okay, yeah, there we go. Ooh, it survived on, like, 0 HP. Oh, my God. We're really doing this. You know, he's going to use a force door, right? I can use a paralysis here. I'm not banking on the paralysis here. Like, I don't play those games. Like, yeah, he's going to use a force door, and I'm going to use a uh, paralyzed heal. I don't, I don't play these games. I'm not messing with paralysis or whatnot. Like, yeah, let's use a paralyzed heal on demon, and he's going to use a freaking force door on a grump pig or whatnot. So, freaking oh, my God. Perfection cultist Tane. Tane's probably, I, I think Tane, freaking Tane, I love all the characters in these games. I mean, at least I love all the cultists in these games. Freaking Yern, Mukra, Tane, Aud, they're all like, I, I like the cultists more than the actual like good guys in this game. Like I hate Nora, I hate the gym leaders. Like I freaking love the cultists. I also like Orion though. Orion's an exception here, but like, God, this, this game's so good. Like, let's use our Shadow Ball. I, I don't play games with, like, the freaking paralysis. Like, that's... I'm, okay, thanks for using Thorn Wave again. Is he going to use another... Um, is he going to use another Forest Door? I think he is. Yeah, I think he's going to use another Forest Door. There's, I think there's a good chance he's got two. So I can use my second Paralysis or Paralyze here or whatnot. Just because I don't play, like, paralysis games or whatnot. So, yeah, let's do that. Uh, yeah, he's gonna use a forest door here. Okay, he what? No way, there's no way it predicted me to use that. So, is he out of forest stores? I assume he's out of forest stores now. There's no way it predicted me to use a paralyzed heal. No way, freaking Tane's AI is a genius like 200 IQ. I don't have another, uh, yeah, I don't have another, I don't have like a full heal or whatnot. So, I just gotta. Please, Shadow. I'm not even going to use Shadow Sneak because I know I outspeed it. So, uh, yeah, fight Shadow Ball, please. What? Oh, my God. I'm such an idiot because the, per the paralysis slows me. Oh, my God. I'm such an idiot. I'm, I'm such an idiot here. So, yeah, use Shadow Sneak. That should kill, right? If it doesn't, okay, thank God. I'm like, because obviously less attack. And then ultimately the Noctum going away. Okay, so the um what is it? Oh my god. So the freaking Ooh, that's rough. <laughs> oh my god. Look at the symbol next to it. That's pretty cool. Look at we got all three symbols on this screen. Under Demon, you can see the Delta symbol, the Mega Evolution symbol, and then next to Zekra, you see the armored symbol. Oh my god. We're freaking gonna die here because it outspeeds us because we're paralyzed. But I have nothing to do that can possibly get rid of the paralysis. I think I just got to sack Demon for a safe switch in here. I think that's what I got to do. I'm not even going to use Shadow Sneak. Like, because that will literally do absolutely nothing. I'm just going to... Okay, Outrage. That's actually interesting, though, because it's locked into Outrage for, what, three turns? Like, two or three turns? So, yeah, I mean, do I have any Pokemon I can resist? I No, I don't. I don't think so. So... Yeah, I mean, so let's see what we've got. Um, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I think the only thing that can, or I guess, mm, outrage. What can I use to beat this? I think I gotta hope that Cleaver outspeeds it, and then use a uh, icicle crash. I think that's the only thing that 
could potentially, yeah, I need to bank on Cleaver outspeeding it and landing an icicle crash. And I'm not sure if armor lowers speed. It might, it probably doesn't. Then that would make it kind of suck. But I mean, I need to bank on Cleaver being faster. Okay, it's not faster. That's, oh, I'm sorry, Cleaver. I'm sorry. God damn. So it outspeeds my whole team. Okay. Like, all right, that's very unfortunate here. So it's stuck into outrage, though. Yeah, I think my next bet is Sandman, ultimately. And hopefully, like, at least surviving an outrage. Because, yeah, an earthquake should still kill it, though, right? I don't trust Spicy Ice to survive at all. But, I mean, hopefully Sandman can survive here. Oh, my God. Freaking tame. Anastasia is such an idiot. Like, what was, what was her plan here? Like, she's like, okay, I'm going to commission a piece of armor for a legendary Pokemon. There's no possible way he can have it. Anastasia is such an idiot here. Okay, let's use a Earthquake. Hopefully we survive. Because it may get confused and, like, okay, yeah. Listen, I, crit, okay, the crit may have mattered there. Okay, confused. Here's the issue, though. If it hits itself in confusion, Spicy Eyes can likely one-shot it with an Ice Beam, or I guess depending on how the armor factors in, I guess. This is his second Pokemon. Outside of this, he's still got Cure Man and Mega. So, I mean, uh, with, this sort of battle's nearly not done. Oh, I forgot I had a Dazzling Gleam. But Ice Beam's still a better choice here. Please hit itself. Please hit itself. Oh, my God. Thanks, game. I may not be able to win. I'm, I'm going to be 100% honest. Despite having an actually decent team to counter... Uh, legendaries, I, I may not be able to win because uh, just the fact that he has two legendaries, one of them being armored, one of them being armored, and then freaking, oh my god, so, and then uh, a mega evolution, like that's, that's ridiculous. Freaking Tane, by the end of the game, we're going to be fighting his team with like six legendaries. He's going he's gonna to have like Rush Ram and like the other Unova Trio, like, okay, so here's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that he hits himself in confusion, and I can get the Will-O-Wisp off. Please hit itself in confusion. Please hit itself. Nice. Then I get this Will-O-Wisp off, and I reduce its uh, attack. So if it uses Outrage again, nice. Here's the thing, though. Uh, Jackbox can't touch this, so I'm just going to use Revives. Um, what would suck is if he had a full heal and he used it, but I mean, because he wouldn't use a like full Restore, because it's not on low HP, but yeah. So, I mean, I guess, what's the best thing to deal with this? I still think Cleaver is. Like, I think an Icicle Crash from Cleaver. I guess I can hopefully bank on Sandman survive. Or I guess, I, I think either of them would survive. I guess, you know, no, I'm going to use, um, I'm going to revive Cleaver because it's part electric, right? So, theoretically, it should resist, you know. Yeah, no, I'm or not Cleaver, Sandman, because... It has, it has a higher potential chance of surviving a physical attack, and it's ultimately part electric. So any electric type move it uses, Drake, uh, come again, Draco Meteor. Oh my God, Jackbox is a champ. Yeah, I can't believe, I forgot, Jackbox doesn't even have that much special defense. I can't believe it survived that, freaking champ. Okay, I'm still, again, like there's no point, like Jackbox can't do anything, there's the only like, reasonable answer here is to bring back um uh yeah sandman because now it's at it's at half attack due to burn and now it's at minus two attack due to Dra or special attack due to draco meteor so i think honestly i think delta muck here can kill it fusion bolt okay that's the standard move but that's also so yeah i think so it's got outrage and draco meteor i think sandman would survive either of those and kill it with an earthquake i mean it's arm because here's the thing, I don't need to kill it. I only need to do half damage in order for it to, or I don't need to kill it from full. Like, I only need to deal half damage for it to die. And it's at, what, half attack due to burn, minus two special attack. So I think, I think Sandman definitely survives here. Yeah, so he definitely survives here. And then I get the, uh, yeah, because all I need, I need Earthquake to bring it down to red. So that burn will kill. So yeah, this shouldn't kill me here. Just throwing that, yeah, so. Nice. So I didn't even need to burn. That's that's nice. Whew. 
5,000 XP. Oh my god. We just took down a freaking armored legendary. That's a first for this game or whatnot. Pyroar. Okay. Hmm. He's such a freaking... Wait, what? His Pyroar is listed as a male on the wiki. I guess that's irrelevant. His Pyroar has choice specs, fire blast, hyper voice, dark pulse, and hidden power grass. If he uses Hidden Power Grass, Sandman's got Sap Sipper. I mean, I think there's a good chance it's going to try and use Hidden Power Grass, and I can just one-shot it with Earthquake as a result. Hyper Voice. Okay, I was wrong. Please don't kill me. Okay, yes, nice. Is Sandman's, Sandman's actually specially defensive. Nice. Pyro's gone. Yeah, because Sandman's specially defensive. He's not physically defensive. He's specially defensive. So, ultimately... Uh, yeah, definitely. In which choice spec? That's nice. Okay, he's got Charizard. This is actually his Mega. That's kind of an issue. Uh, I don't think I can outspeed it, because Rock Tomb would deal decent. Or I guess, no, it's not, because it's got Charizard X. Shoot. That's actually kind of a pain. Yeah, I think he, pain, tain, it rhymes. Tain's bringing on the pain. What, what, because this is a completely unnecessary battle. Tane had to battle us back in uh, Helio City because uh, Rukra had him do it for uh, so that they could gather data on Mega Evolution. Should, should I use... Is my own Charizard the best counter? I'm not sure. Because the issue is it becomes Fire Dragon with Charizard X, right? Do any of... Cleaver knows... Here's the thing, though. Cleaver knows Rock Tomb. I'm willing to bet a Rock Tomb from Cleaver will do the most damage out of any move I've got in my arsenal, or out of any move Demon has. Not only that, well, I guess he does. I need to bank on Cleaver ultimately outspeeding it and then land in a Rock Tomb. I think that'll, or I guess no, because it's Fire Dragon. I keep looking at Fire Fighting. What's, my best option may actually be a Sandman in like a Rock type move. My main issue is, I, th I actually think my best bet here is a rock type, or er, not a rock type, a ground type. I think my best bet is an earthquake from Sandman. That's my main issue. Yeah, I think that's my, or here's the thing. Yeah, I think my best bet at killing it is actually an earthquake from Sandman. Here's the thing, though. It's Charizard as Dragon Dance. If he uses Dragon Dance, I could potentially kill it with Earthquake. So I think I should stay in and try an earthquake. Because I don't think I have much else that can deal with it. Given Fire Dragon, the only types that are effective against it are what? Ground, Rock, Dragon. So I think I think Earthquake here is my best shot of killing it. I need to hope it uses Dragon Dance to try and like set up and do something stupid. Oh my god, freaking Tane. Tane's, Tane's such a cool character. I like Tane so much. Like Tane, Audrey, like all the cultists I like. Oh my god, there's the Mega Charizard. I need to hope that... Okay, no, just use that right. But now it's locked into Outrage, though. So, yeah, obviously, so obviously Earthquake didn't work, but I mean, I think, I think Sandman still has the best chance of surviving an Outrage out of any one of my Pokemon. So, yeah, I think Sandman has the best chance of surviving an Outrage, or any of its moves, as a matter of fact, out of any of my Pokemon. And I think it also has the best chance of killing it, given it can... Hopefully deal a lot of, I think Earthquake is the best move I have in regards to, like, dealing with it. I don't think I have a better move, like, in my arsenal or whatnot, so. Outrage. Yeah, this will presumably one-shot Demix. I mean, I'm like, I, so now, is it confused? Okay, it's not confused. I need to bank on Outrage not one-shotting um, Sandman, because I'm going to use the Hyper Potion on Sandman here. Because I think Sandman's the best bet I've got. Yeah, I'm going to use, uh, what is it? I'm going to use my Hyper Potion here. So, yeah, let's see. Where is, uh, here's a Hyper Potion. So, let's use Hyper Potion on Sandman. Hopefully, it survives an outrage here. Please. I know it's not physically, or it's still semi-physically defensive, and it has a lot of HP. Please survive. Please. Oh, my God. Oh, nice. So here's the thing, though. I just need to spam four er, heals until it hits itself in confusion. And then I can uh, Earthquake it. So I'm not sure an Earthquake will one-shot it, though. That's my main issue. Theoretically, it should. But, I mean, 
So let's see, hopefully it hits itself in confusion. Please hit itself, please, please. Nice, because yeah, now I can use an earthquake here and potentially kill it. That's kind of my goal, right? I think earthquake deals the most damage out of any move on my team. Oh my God, really the second turn? Are you joking? Flare Blitz, well that deals much, oh my God, crit, really? That crit actually mattered there though, right? Like that crit guaranteed, oh my God. If I would have, if it didn't crit, I would have killed it because it would have taken not that much more damage from recoil. Oh my God, seriously? Like that's, oh my God. The freaking, really? That's such a joke. I, I think I'm not gonna need to prepare for this battle. Freaking An screw Anastasia and like freaking like Orion. I mean, seriously, they literally just gave Tane a set of armor for legendaries and another legendary. And another. I think I okay. Wow, that's loud. I need to train. I think I need to train in order to beat him. I'm not gonna like. I was really on the wire there. I guess. Yeah, I mean, my main issue. That, that crit, that honestly sucked, because I would have survived without it, and then I probably would have killed it with Earthquake, given how much recoil damage it took. That's the worst part, but, um, yeah, I think I'm ultimately going to need to prepare for this battle. I'll train up to the, because we know the level cap is in level 60. It may be, actually be level 61. But, yeah, I'm going to train up to the level cap and then re-challenge him. Oh, my God. Freaking, I swear, Tane, like, always comes right before or after an R boss battle. Before, he came right before the battle with East, which was about before a year. Now he's coming right after the battle with Anastasia. Freaking Tane, oh my god. Tane, he's like, that, that's actually funny as fuck. It's like, Anastasia's like, how could you have possibly captured Zekro? I'm like, he's like, she's like, how do you have two legendaries? And he's like, I use Master Ball. I was like, he's like, I better not leave it up to chance or failure or whatnot, but... Yeah, I'm going to end it here. I'm not even going to bother trying another one. It's already been like an hour, so I'm just going to train up and then hopefully be able to do something against him and, like, think of maybe a different strategy. Unfortunately, I don't have my X attack 3 or X speed 3s anymore, so can't cheese with that, but, yeah, we'll see what happens. So. Yep, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.